Bernard. Hi, happy Wednesday, and welcome to Now, the fun show hosted by me, Curtis P. Today we're kicking the entire show off, talking about a very big topic that happened yesterday, that being the fact that Apple had its big fall event. At this event, Apple announced a few cool new things, though nothing very radical. They started off with OS X Mavericks, the brand new operating system for their desktop devices. And the big bombshell with this one, the fact that it is entirely free. So if you currently have a Mac computer, you can go and download this new operating system from their store completely free. And as you can imagine, because it's free, Apple took a couple jives at Microsoft and Windows. Because they just can't do that, otherwise their entire business model would be like, out the window. So, point to Apple for that one. If you want to upgrade to the brand new operating system, you can do it now in the Mac App Store again completely free. The new operating system adds a few cool new tweaks. The new multi-display support is very nice and it actually helps the battery life on your current gen devices. So if you have like a MacBook, you might get like an extra hour of battery life, which is pretty freaking cool. Along with that, Apple also announced the brand new MacBook Pros. They got a little bit of an update here. They're more powerful. They got a little bit better battery life, but overall not too much of a change. iLife and iWork got an update with brand new icons and some cool new features inside of the apps. And just like the brand new operating system, all all of these brand new pieces of software are completely free. Apple's just pulling an Oprah Winfrey. Everybody gets something for free. Apple also talked about the brand new Mac Pro, that being the really cool, slim, cylindrical computer that kind of looks like a trash can. They talked more about how powerful it is, and they finally announced the pricing. The Mac Pro will start at $2,999, so it's a little expensive. Though it is their most professional product that they sell, so you can imagine that it comes with that sort of a price tag. Also, keep in mind you can customize it for an even more expensive computer. So if you want to spend $10,000 on a computer that looks like a trash can, you totally can. Next up, the iPad's got a brand new refresh and the main iPad kind of got a new name. Now called the iPad Air because it's thinner. Though my thoughts are, why would you call it the iPad Air? Just call it the iPad because it's an iPad. Whatever, the iPad Air includes the brand new A7 processor, the same one inside of the iPhone 5S. It's also thinner and it's lighter, taking on the iPad Mini-esque design. Talking about the iPad Mini, it also got a little bit of an update. It got a Retina display on it, which is very nice and it also has the A7 processor inside. So some really nice updates from Apple just in time for the holiday season and let's face it, that's like by design. Apple is going to be selling a lot of iPads this Christmas, so be prepared for that. The new iPads will begin shipping and be available in store in November. Moving along into Sims type news because we also have some Sim news today. Into the Future recently launched this week and it looks amazing. You can of course take your Sims through time and explore the brand new futuristic world. Also a cool part of the Into the Future gameplay is the fact that you can actually affect the future. So if you go back to the regular time period and you do something bad, travel into the future, it may be a dystopian future. Then you you can travel back in time again, make things all right and travel forward and hey, it might be a beautiful utopia. Such a cool concept to bring into The Sims. Of course, there's also tons of cool new futuristic objects and fun references from movies like Back to the Future. The fact that if you look at the time traveler, Look at him versus one of the main characters in Back to the Future. They kind of look similar. Of course, The Sims 3 Into the Future is available today. Go and check that out, of course, at your local retailer, or you can, of course, purchase it online on Origin. And last, but certainly not least, some Sims 4 related news for all of you. A lot of you have been asking and emailing, being like, Curtis, talk more about The Sims 4. Well, unfortunately, I can't just like spew out Sims 4 information because I got nothing that you don't already know. Until now, because we finally have a release period for The Sims 4. According to EA, The Sims 4 will be available in the fall of 2014. So about a year from now, if you really want to think about it. I previously predicted that it would fall sometime in the beginning of 2014, but obviously that was just a prediction and haha, <laughs> I was wrong. So yeah, we all have about a year to wait for this, but of course you can pre-order The Sims 4 right now on Origin or just head over to The Sims 4 website. So jumping back to the main topic of today, are you planning on picking up any of the new Apple products announced yesterday, like the new iPad Air, iPad mini or maybe a MacBook? You can let me know in the comment section down below. You can also let me know on my Facebook page, Twitter account, or through Google+. Links to all that and the other topics I talked about in today's episode in the description down below. Check out all the links down there. Tons of really cool stuff. Of course, if you enjoyed today's show, why not hit that like button, subscribe, and maybe even share the show with your friends. Until tomorrow, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.